What's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. Man, Chisora tonight I felt deserved to win in as much as Parker is the younger guy, the fresher guy. Obviously, Parker obviously won because of all the knockdowns, but listen, as far as heart goes, I wish there was a way here yeah, to transfer Chisora's heart and warrior spirit into the heartless useless bod pretty looking bodybuilder big for nothing looking ass anthony johnston yeah because if anthony johnston and i'm not trying to make this this not in about mr johnston but i'm just saying yeah because that man there if johnston had a smidgen of that kind of passion and effort you sick would have been knocked out of in six rounds yeah not even a little bit of that kind of passion i mean did you see chisora on the ropes yeah Chisora is just, oh, every time he got back to the ropes, every time it looked over, what did he do? Yeah, when he was down bad the most, every time he came back swinging, yeah, every time, F the technique, F the strategy, every time Parker thought there was something sweet, Parker ended up the one nearly getting knocked out kind of thing, yeah, and let's be real now, facts. Every single time Parker thought something, every time Chisora got knocked down and Parker thought there was something a little sweet there, he ended up on the ropes getting worked himself. Pure passion, pure warrior spirit. Yeah? And we watched 12 rounds of Joshua Johnston versus Usyk and didn't see a smidgen of that kind of passion. All we saw was Johnston on the ropes, sitting there like a big useless bodybuilding muppet. Yeah? 100%. But back to the Parker versus Chisora fight. I mean, Parker... Parker just... Uh, get that guy out of here. Parker just hanging around. I'm not sure what he's really doing in the sport, truth be known. He that guy who's just hanging around. Yeah. Uh, that's the bottom line for me. I don't know. Maybe he can... I mean, Chisora... Technique and whatever... He's, I mean, his passion is... I've, I've always said this. Chisora's passion and warrior spirit is all-time great. Yeah? If you think of things in terms of FIFA scores, like, you know, it is like, I don't know, everything's ranked out of 99, you best believe. In terms of Warrior Spirit, there's very few, even as far as the all-time greats go, very few can actually compete with Chisora on that level. Now, obviously, he hasn't got the skills and everything else that comes along with being an all-time great, but in that category, he's a Tier 1 Hall of Famer. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and I just wish that he, like, Chisora, for me, if anyone deserves to make $30 million in a night, it's Chisora, not Johnston. Yeah? Because he, Chisora, sacrificed years of his life tonight. And yeah, he got paid, I'm sure, he's not going to be broke, he's not hurting for money, but listen, Johnston, getting paid $40 million for that, you having a laugh? Yeah? You must be having a laugh for that kind of performance. Chisora, he, he earned... 30 million dollars tonight because he went down he got up he in fact he refused to go down even when he was half down he hung on to the ropes because of his what's the word you call it because of his his reluctance he refused to lose as cuss would say yeah say no to losing i will not be knocked out i will not be knocked down that's what he said yeah and we all know that in terms of a technical point of view, we know that Chisora has always had to... He kept dipping to the same side. He kept dipping with that, that cross defence. Rather than going with the high hands. I believe the reason people use the cross defence is because it's less taxing on the traps. Less taxing on the shoulders. Holding your hands up all night, extremely taxing on your shoulders. So that, that kind of mix guard. He kept dipping. He kept mix guarding. And obviously Parker couldn't miss with that right uppercut. So we know Chisora is Chisora now. Let's be real. What is he, 36, 37? He ain't gonna... He was never gonna come in here and all of a sudden fight different. But what I will say, when you think about people like Mike Tyson or whoever else, Mike weren't fighting like that at 36. <laughs> he weren't doing that. He was, he was falling over at the first sign of trouble. Yeah? So Chisora, really, I'm trying to... There's, I'm, I'm sorry, but for me, I'd put, I'd put him top five all time. Top five all-time for nuts and heart. Yeah? 
top five for refusing. Now, I'm not saying he, in every fight, sometimes he floppy, but in big fights, he turn up. Same as Dillian White rematch, he turn up. Despite being outmatched and whatnot, he don't say no. He go cold out. He'd rather go cold out. You got to listen. The only way he's taking Chisora out is he's going cold. Yeah. He ain't looking for. He ain't looking for a way out. He he dare. He finds in a way. In fact, Chisora finds a way to take more punches. He ain't trying to be one of them sneaky ones. Yeah. He ain't trying to be one of them them sneaky Joshua vs Ruiz ones. Uh, yeah. Nah. He ain't doing that. Chisora trying to find a way to stay in the fight. Yeah. At one point, the referee said to him. Chisora, show me something. And Parker got a lob on, yeah? The referee said to Chisora, Chisora, if you don't start for show me something, I'm going to stop the fight. I'm halfway through a round, yeah? Obviously, Parker hears that and gets his lipstick out, thinking there's something sweet there, but again, Chisora says no. Not today, Josephine. And starts firing off. And to be honest, if, if honestly, yeah, if Chisora had... That kind of firepower and finesse that Johnston has. I mean, it, Parker would have been knocked out 100%. He just doesn't have that fin that finesse. Like Parker, I mean, um, Chisora, his shots are they're much this way too wide. He doesn't throw he doesn't throw short shots, and that's what pays the bills ultimately. You ain't gonna catch many people at this level with them big loopers. It's a shame that. I don't know what, well, Chisora's been the same his whole career, but I'm saying it's a shame that he wasn't able to ever refine that. Because them big loopers, man, they don't, they don't, they don't hit as hard, they're slower, they're not as effective, and everything else. But anyway, all I can really talk about on, in this fight is Chisora's nuts, and Chisora's passion and love for the squabbles. And everyone, not just Johnston, but Johnston in particular, can look at Chisora as a beacon of that. He refused to let the people down as such. Even though, to be honest, he, have every, he had every right to, if that makes sense. He had every right in them last rounds to flop on the floor. No one could have really expected nothing else from him. He was he was done for about six rounds, truth be known. He was done. Not fanning around like Johnston. He was literally done. He was done done for six rounds. And he'd been not hitting his head a few times kind of thing. When you think about it, when Johnston fought Usyk, he weren't getting clipped with massive right uppercuts, was he? Usyk was piddling around. And to be honest, we saw what Chizora did with Usyk. Chizora beat Usyk. Chizora 100% did a better job with Usyk than Johnston did. Chizora never looked like he was going to get stopped. And not even a bit. Yeah? Ch Chizora came out of that fight looking brand new. Johnston? Wow. Yeah? It's in bat honesty. Again, tonight's Chizora's night, but really this is... This has wider implications. Johnston should feel ashamed of himself after watching that. How are you going to win it? You're a 31 year old prime bodybuilder. She's always 37 year old. And he's been through the ringer. You've only had one tough fight. Which you found a way out of. Yeah. You've only had one tough fight. And you found a way out of it. And then you ran away in the rematch. So what's your... What are you soft for then? Because you ain't soft because you've been softened up by a whole bunch of people. She's always been knocked Spark out a few times. And had wars. Yeah? What's your excuse? Big prime bodybuilding looking ass is your excuse. Big for nothing. Yeah? Embarrassing. I'm embarrassed, truth be known. I'd be, if I was Johnston right now, I'd have to hold a press conference and say, listen, people. I collected $40 million. Again, in music fight. Yeah? On reflection... Of recent events. It's a travesty. For me to be paid 40 million dollars. And for my punters to have been bumped. Gambling on that fight. Let me donate this to, to the William Hill. You know what I mean. <laughs> Let me donate this to the. Or better yet. Either way. Find somewhere to, don find somewhere to donate it. Because you don't deserve it. You don't need it. What do you need it for? You don't, I'll tell you what you don't need it for. You don't need it because you was getting stuck in. And you was going 50-50. And you was trying. That's what you don't need it for. You don't need it because you was trading brain cells that night. Yeah? I'm sick to death. Yeah? Sick to death. But anyway, man, let me get back to the point. Listen. I mean, I actually respect the judges because how many knockdowns? There must have been about four or two. 
there must have been about three or yeah it must have been about three eight ten rounds but still the judges had it pretty close that fight could have I honestly thought there was I thought the judges were going to say it was almost 12 rounds to Parker because of the knockdowns if that makes sense you could have easily given eight rounds to Parker plus the three knockdowns which would have made it more like um I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works out, but but you know what I'm saying. I'm surprised there was. I think there was one judge had it only. There was only four points difference or whatever. So clearly the judges rewarded some of that. Some of them spurts. You see, he was able to. I mean, Chisora was able to flip the script. Some of them rounds, which was could have been almost seven, ten rounds. Chisora flipped them in the end and had Parker down bad in the corner. I mean, to be honest. Again, tonight, the only reason Parker did not score a KO was because he ain't got the heart Chisora has. Yeah, if Parker had a bit more noddle and a bit more balls, if Parker weren't 2021 fruity tooty, he'd have got a job done tonight. That's the honest truth. But he weren't, he weren't, really, he weren't really that desperate to get, get on it, was he? He weren't really, you know what I mean? The minute Chisora, who was finished for the last six rounds, the minute he fought back, Parker weren't interested. Which sums up this generation. This generation is what you call an on top generation. Again, again, look at Johnston. Johnston's great going in there and having a go on you. But if you fight oh, if you fight back, he ain't, he ain't really too interested. I mean we saw it in the Usyk fight. Usyk comes out, pops him in the mouth. He ain't, he didn't want didn't want to know anymore, did he? That's the truth. He didn't want to know. Uh, you know what? This looks like hard work. I'm out of here. Let me hang on the back of the ropes. And waste all my punters' coins. Because I'm lazy and ain't got no balls. That's what he said. Yeah? I'll tell you what you didn't say. You didn't say, let me go in there and teach this guy what it's like to be at heavyweight. You didn't f you didn't follow off where Chizora... Or yeah, you didn't finish... You didn't carry on where Chizora left off. That's what you didn't do. Despite being prime. Despite being given all the gifts. So... I'm not, I've always said Parker's a bit, I mean, well, to be fair to Parker, he could have, he didn't turn into Johnston, he could have felt, he could, I'm sure he could have folded if he wanted to as well, when you think about it, pa I'm sure Parker, if he wanted to, could have found a way to fold tonight, he didn't do that, so I give him more, I give him more respect than Johnston at least, because it can't be easy having someone like Chisora in your face, and not, not being funny, we saw how the great Usyk dealt with Chisora, so the fact Parker was able to do a better job, you have to give him credit for that. But still, <sighs> Chisora was finished for the last six rounds. It was pure, it wasn't cardio that got him through. He had no cardio left. It was pure Hall of Fame, all-time great status, warrior-ness. And I really do hope that He's made enough money. Well, he must have done. He must have made enough money. But people like Chisora, I want him to retire now. There's no... I mean, you can keep you can keep chasing coins for the next... But it's done now, Chisora, yeah? you finish, you finish, or you've given and provided a great display of what it means to be a warrior. All the young, soft, sweet-looking dudes can study that fight now. Because you didn't win. And that's not the point. Same as Deontay Wilder versus Fury 3. You don't have to win. What you have to do, if you're making $30 million, is put $30 million worth of effort in. Well, don't bother, yeah? Carry on ice skating in Dubai. How about that? No one ain't asking you to return. What we ain't gonna do is be ice skating in Dubai and bring that funny style attitude into a $30 million ring. Yeah? Don't waste people time. Don't waste people time. 100%. What do you think this is? My man comes comes out into the press conference saying, oh, I hope the fans appreciate my work. You, these these celebrity types are mad, aren't they? Something wrong with them. Proper. Yeah? Now, again, I've, I understand that you've had a whole bunch of executive dons playing with your booty and whatnot, but listen. Yeah, that's, that's, on, that's on you, man. That's not my... Yeah? I understand that you're probably half funny star because of all the fruity tooty execs that have been in your booty, but yeah, that, that's the path you chose. That's on you. Yeah? But listen. Again, respect to Chisora. Where does Parker go from here? <sighs> Parker's... Uh, 
I don't know what to say about Parker, to be honest. What's he doing? Just hanging around. I, I don't know what Parker's doing, truth be known. I'm not sure. He don't... He doesn't have that championship quality, however. Who does? <laughs> yeah? Mm, Fury? Yeah. I mean, Fury is right now the best of, of an awful bunch. This is one of the... This, for me, is one of the awfulest bunches of dudes. The only dudes who are worse have been the Klitschko era, for me. But apart from the Klitschko era, this is the most useless bunch of dudes I've ever seen. I mean, you've got Wilder, got no skill. You've got Fury, got no real power, if that makes sense. Yes, he does well against people who are completely useless, but in, ter in terms of, like, proper power, he ain't got that power. you got Johnston, no heart. I mean, everyone's just... Bleh, isn't it? There's no real depth, is there, where you say, this guy's the ultimate. Everyone's got some sort of, um, everyone's got some sort of massive, um, everyone's got some sort of, yeah, some asterisk against their name. You've got Dilly and No Chin White. Yeah, everywhere you look, there's some big, mass gaping hole in their, res in their kind of attributes. And that's what, and that's the thing, that's what makes it an interesting bunch. That's why it's all kind of 50-50, innit? Because everyone is useless together. <laughs> yeah, one big pool of, of, Compromised dudes. That's the bottom line here, people. So where Park, where does Park go from here? I couldn't tell you. Parker versus Wilder. I mean, I don't really want to watch that myself. Parker versus Ruiz rematch. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Why not? Yeah, but I mean, you can't watch tonight and say, "Oh, Parker's," you know what I mean? Showed something brand new. Showed something that's going to be in the mix kind of thing. It's not going to be, put it this way, he ain't going to beat Fury, is he? I wouldn't, I wouldn't back him to beat Dillian White either on that performance. Especially, again, I think that was one of the worst Chisoras that turned up, to be honest. When you compare it to the Chisora who fought Dillian White the second time, this Chisora to me, yeah, he didn't look like a man who was proper prepared. He looked like a man... And I think even Team Chisora said this might be the last fight. Please, if anyone cares about Chisora, Eddie Hearn, just step in, man. What's nothing wrong with that? You don't need to make coins from everyone, Eddie. Yeah, just say, you know what? We've had a great time, Chisora, but I'm not, t I'm not doing no more of your fights. You've, you know what I'm saying? You've, you've had enough now. You don't need no more. There's nothing more to, apart from just taking coins for the sake of it, he don't need, there's nothing more out there for him. And I hope that everyone around him tells him that. And even if he disagrees, he needs to be blacklisted from the from the industry, in my opinion. He's got no business being in a ring no more. No business. That's how, and I'm surprised the board, the board don't just call things a line like that. You've made millions of dollars, you ain't broke, call it a day. Yeah, if you like fighting, do some sparring. You don't need to be coming out no more and, and being involved in them kind of fights, because it wasn't... It, it was competitive, but it wasn't competitive for the right reasons, yeah? Using using your heart to get you through half a fight, every fight, that's not how the, the body ain't made to be used like that. You're supposed to use heart, heart's supposed to be used sparingly. Yeah, that, that's supposed to be like the secret nuclear button you press, when it, when all else fails. But you don't want your draw for me, he, he ends up pushing that button for eight rounds in every fight. That, that's just no good. That's not sustainable. That's dangerous in terms of the future, if that makes sense. And the shots he takes, they're, they're clean shots. And I, I, re I worry about the future. I worry 20 years from now, 30 years from now. I mean, people like James Tony, who are a lot more slick. Look at James Tony now. He a bit, you know what I'm saying? So Chisora, for now at least, seems okay. It just... I can I can imagine Chisora for me reminds me a bit like that James Tony type. But people need to step in now and say, you know what, off you go. You've had a great life. You had a great career if that makes sense. Let's move it on now. But I'm proud of Chisora. I love like I said, I've explained his attitude for me and his his spirit is unrivaled. In the last twenty twenty five in fact, like I said, historically his attitude and mentality would hold up against anyone's. That would be a 50-50 battle with anyone. His mentality would. You can't... I mean, Josh, Joshua Boazzi said, you can't train that. You can't make that. You've either got it or you went. Johnston. 
Yeah? You ain't got it. That's what you ain't got. And if you have, you better show it in the next one. Because that's what everyone watching. We ain't watching to see if you win. We're watching to see, are you an ice skater in Dubai? Or are you serious? Yeah, Johnston? That's the bottom line. All you fangirls have been shilling for you. Let's see then, isn't it? Because, yeah. Ruiz 2 ain't going to cut it this time, unfortunately. Oh, but what about if we go in there and run around? Don't cut it. Yeah? That's a no from the fans. Congrats to Chizora. Farewell in your career. Parker. I mean, you did what you were supposed to do. Oh, you did half of what you are supposed to do. I mean, a man like that, really, you were supposed to finish him off, but... <laughs> yeah, so Parker, just sit down somewhere, man. Truth be known, Parker, sit down somewhere. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing, you ain't doing nothing worthwhile anyway. That's my opinion. You ain't doing nothing that make me think... Put Listen, you ain't... Let me say this. Parker, you ain't got me some along. How about that? If you, honestly, if you had to YB Sem along, I'd tell you. I'd say, listen, people. I'd say, listen. Parker, Joseph Parker just put on a Sem along performance. You got the YB warmed up. But you, I'm, I'm being honest. Yeah? You ain't got me even a little bit Sem along. The YB's lipstick ain't out of nowhere. Yeah? F the sh listen, the YB sheath is fully covered right now. Yeah? The YB sheath is fully covering the lippy. Not even a bit out. No Sem along and no lippy. All sheaf. That was a sheaf-looking performance from Parker. Right, yeah. Pure sheaf. Not even, not even a tip. Of, not even a tip of the YB's lippy is out right now. That's a fact as well. Pure sheaf. Yeah. So, where Park? Where does Park go from here? N number one. Honestly, no one cares. That's the truth. <laughs> Come on, man. Be serious now. Who looking for that? Who want? Who trying to see where Park going? There was a time. Well, a little bit of a time. When Parker was kind of edgy, wasn't he a bit? But not now. He just kind of... I don't know what he's doing. I don't know I don't know where he's been for the last four years. Truth be known. I mean, he lost to Johnston in 2018. Then he fought Dillian White. I'm not sure what's been going on since then, but nothing interesting. That's for sure. But anyway, main point in this video is Chisora, you're the man. No doubt.